What's good YouTube? It's your girl Bofina One, bringing you guys yet another YouTube video. So we all know many people have been trying to travel since the world is semi-opening back up, and that includes the airline business. However, this past weekend, many flights through American Airlines were canceled due to a high number of sick calls combined with maintenance and other staffing issues. And with that being said, they may continue to cancel at least 50 to 60 flights per day for the rest of June and 50 to 80 flights per day through July. American Airlines says, in quotes, we made targeted ch uh, changes with the goal of impacting the fewest number of, of customers by adjusting flights and markets where we have multiple options for reaccommodation. Close quotes. Now, the real reason is that so many people don't want to work because the money they're getting from unemployment is more than them going into work. And I've talked about this numerous times in other videos about the extra money that people have been getting. I mean, if you look at unemployment, like regular unemployment that you would get every two weeks, right? It's based off of your income. It's based off of how much you make. It's a percentage of what you make. So with that being said, a lot of people have been getting money, um, and it's like it, it exceeds their income. Like you have some people that were making, I don't know, maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars a year. Well, they're bringing home money like they're making fifty k a year, right? So they're making more money to stay home than they would to go into work. So why are these people like? Why would they want to go into work when they can make more money, stay home? Another thing that a lot of these employers or these companies they don't realize is that when people go to work, like that's the thing they have to get to work, right? So there's things like cost to, for transportation whether it's gas having a car or you know taking a bus or a train whatever the case is then like having lunch having work clothes paying for four like having 401k if you want to you know save for your retirement um having insurance all those different things take money out of your check so like when people say like oh like they're making 15 16 bucks an hour well obviously they're not really making that because there's taxes they have other things that they have to pay for insurance you know it's other things that come out of that check so in the end a lot of people are still making more money they may be making let's say 50 dollars less a check but they're making still more money overall staying at home than having to get up commute to work you know all these other different things that eat and take money um out of their out of their check um and another thing too is a lot of these, a lot of these jobs are not full time. A lot of the jobs like, like they're saying like oh there's so many jobs out there. Not all of these jobs are necessarily full time. And the jobs that are full time, they're not paying that much. They're they're paying less than what unemployment is is paying. And this kind of goes back to what I've I think I talked about this in a previous video. Like I still believe that when they were giving out that extra money, um, they should have looked at it based off of people's income, right? Because unemployment is supposed to be something that helps you get by until you find a job, not something that paid you more than what you were when you were working. You know what I'm saying? And that kind of is what happened. Like people were getting $600 a week. People were making, grossing $600 a week. These people were bringing home $600 a week on top of what they were getting every two weeks. So you have people out here bringing home over $3,000 in a month. That's like someone making $50,000 a year. You get what I'm saying? Um, so it, it, it's like, I understand why they gave it out because you do have people, you do have people that are, are on the higher end that are making more money. So they need that extra $600, but it should have been, I think the unemployment or the extra benefits should have been based off of people's needs, like what they were actually making. Um, not just, oh, we're going to throw money out to everybody because what you have is that, oh, you have people that are getting more money to stay home than to go in. And you may say, oh, well, that's not fair. How come? Certain people can get more money and other people can't. I mean, you can kind of argue that in multiple ways. Like, well, maybe the person that's making more money, maybe they have a higher level of education. You know, maybe they have a certain skill set. So at the same time, is that fair that there's people that don't have that skill set that are making the same amount of money as them? So you get what I'm saying? And then some people say, oh, well, that, that's not being equal. So you can go back and forth with it. The point is, is that these companies are not paying people enough to come off of unemployment and so they won't and the only way to really get them off is either one they're gonna have to raise the hourly rate which if you raise the hourly rate what's gonna happen with that is you'll get people to come back to work but they're gonna cut the amount of positions that they have available because they're not gonna be able to afford the same amount of positions that they did before if they're gonna raise minimum wage let's say another two or three dollars right so it's a big mess in my opinion overall and we're just seeing how this whole unemployment thing is literally just just ran its course and people are not going to get off of it until they literally get kicked off of it.
So let me know your guys' thoughts about this down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll chat with you later. Peace, Finarm.